uh, floor. We definitely understand, of course, it's a residential building. Some of the reports suggest that this, uh, uh, this was all noticed and uh, became an event uh, sometime this morning. Uh, but certainly, uh, it's now 10 o'clock at night in uh, Dubai and it still seems to be very much a live event as far as the emergency services are concerned there. Sky's Ian Woods has been looking into this as well for us uh, here in, uh, in the studio. I Ian, what do we know at this stage? We're just trying to pick up some details on the address. I've been to Dubai, but I haven't stayed in this particular hotel. It is a hotel and a residential block in the, uh, the same complex, uh, 63 storeys uh, high, as you say, reasonably close to the Burj Khalifa. Uh, but, of course, the nature of Dubai is that this is the downtown area and there are residential buildings, hotels, and a lot of other uh, properties crammed into a very you know, packed area. So if there are reports that are coming in from people on Twitter who are there suggesting that a lot of the debris, and you can see from some of the pictures that this is true, debris falling from the blazing building, it is falling onto other buildings below. So there's obviously going to be concern not just for people on the ground but also for the danger of that fire spreading. But when you look at the scale of how many floors are alike there, it does seem extraordinary that a modern building, and of course all buildings in Dubai uh, of this nature are extremely modern, that a fire of this nature could spread so quickly over so many floors uh, in normal circumstances. Now, we don't know the details as yet as to how it relates to the fireworks display which is due to take place in Dubai in a couple of hours time and one has got to assume that that is now very much cancelled uh, but uh, you know if there were fireworks in this area